Hi there, how is it going? This is Edeem here from Recommended.com. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix no audio device installed within your Windows OS with five different methods, just in few steps. Welcome back. First, let's have an idea about the issue. As you can see here, our driver are not being installed and we don't have any audio output for our system. We cannot adjust or we cannot play any of the audio device. And as you can see, all the different options are inactive. Even when using the function keys, so nothing appears and we have no control over our output devices. As, as you can see here, we have no output devices found. You can always check the help section or options within the Windows system for future updates. But here we'll be trying different methods to fix your uh, problem. The first one is to head on to the speaker icon, right click on it and we'll select uh, troubleshoot sound problems. Cool. A new window will open and it's starting detecting your problems. So that's the Windows troubleshooter. Most of the time it fixes all the problems whether related to sound, to Wi-Fi, or any other problems. So first of all, try it. Here it will be giving you uh, different options. First of all, you need to select your device and the device you want to troubleshoot. Make sure that you select the main device that you have in your system. So you'll be selecting Real Tech Audio. That's the main drivers that you have. Next, just apply this fix. And here you are asked to restart your system in order to apply the change. Just hit next. Now it will also be checking de or detecting additional problems if there are any. As we said here, you need to restart your system in order to apply the change that you have made. So next step will be just to restart your system and check again if fixed or not. If that has not fixed your problem, then let's move on to the second method. Head on to the star icon, right click on it and select device manager. From device manager, you will scroll down until you find the sound, video and game controller. From it, you select real tech audio, right click on it and select update driver. Here will you have two options to search automatically for drivers. Browse my computer for drivers. Here we will select the second one. Great. Right click on it, select update driver, from it select browse my device and next uh, select let me pick from a list available drivers on my computer. Right here featured you will have the different drivers updates. Just select the ones that you want to install, make sure it is the latest one, you can select it and this will provide you with some information. Right, just hit next. And as you can see, it is installing the drivers. Just be patient until it's finished. But as you can see here, it returned with a problem. Windows encountered a problem installing the drivers for your device. This means it is the one which is already installed or it does not have valid registry information. Great. Let's move on to the next option, which will be to get your drivers updates directly from Windows download centers. Good. The same method update driver and here will be select search update drivers on windows update next you hit advanced options from advanced option we had scroll down till you find optional updates select it and here check if you have any optional updates otherwise you just hit uh, checking for updates if it is posed just Resume it. So if you have any updates in here, it will be featured for your driver. Next, you just restart your system. Let's move on to the third method. We'll head back to the device manager and select your sound output. The case here, real tech. Right click on it and select. Instead of selecting update driver, we'll select disable device. Now we'll re-enable it, enable device again. 
this has not worked you can also try the uninstall device you can install the driver cool and install yeah, as you can see it has disappeared from the list in here we'll do the same for all the the output device next all you need to do is just to restart your system and this may fix your device if that had not also fixed your device let's move on to method number four now we'll just head on to the store menu and here we'll be selecting microsoft store let's wait until it loads good we'll head on to the search bar and type in nahimic and select nahimic app right and our system it's already installed so if it's not if it's not installed in your system then just install it we'll fix this problem later great let's close this now next you need to download the realtek audio driver the latest version you will find all the links below open the folder or zip it on your desktop cool next we'll execute the file the setup file make sure to close all the other open application right hit next and wait until it finishes the real high definition audio driver may take few minutes Great, had successfully install and go. Now we need to restart your system in order to apply the changes. So all you need to do is restart your system and check if that fixes your problem. If you are still unsuccessful at fixing your audio device, then we'll try the last method. Head to the start menu from it. Type in CMD or command prompt. Select run as administrator. The CMD window will appear. Right here we'll be typing in some comments. We find all the links to the script on the description below. We we'll just paste it. Or we we'll just type in the local group administration and the network service. So I have two comments that we will add. After that, we just hit enter. The first command is successfully executed. Next, let's move on to the second one. It's the same one, well, just we'll add the local service. Right click and select edit from edit paste. Or just paste directly. Cool and hit enter. The command completed successfully. That's it. All you need to do now is just to restart your system and problem fixed. And that's it. As you can see here, we have restored all of our audio devices and they are working properly without any problems. And we have restored all the different functionality. You can select the different uh, sound outputs you have. Also, you can adjust the sound. So up or down, mute it. Etc. So with all the different functionality. And that's it. Hope that was helpful. If you still have any uh, sound issues with your windows, you just comment them below and we come back to you as soon as possible. The next tutorial, this is your host, is the Peace. And with this, we have reached the end. Keep tuned for our coming tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please have them below and subscribe if you want more helpful videos like this. See you around. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do consider sharing it. Click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and the notifications to get the latest tutorials that will inspire, empower, and connect you www.rackmedia.com